All right, guys. So this is going to be a video showing you the very starting of SuperMemo, how to download and install it, and some of the very most basic things. So uh, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is uh, get your browser so we can download SuperMemo, and then go to this simple URL, supermemo.wiki/learn, which hopefully even 10 years from now should still be working. Uh, and then you can just click on this link right here. You can also just directly go to this download link, but I think it's easy to remember, supermemo.wiki slash learn, and then go click here to get it. So you can download more than one type. Um, so all of these, except for at 15, are trials. Don't download light since it's not meant to actually be used. It's meant for converting between uh, previous versions of Supermemo collections and 17, 18. So 18's trial is what I recommend. 17 is pretty usable, and actually 17 is the version of Supermemo that I started on. Um, but for this tutorial, I'll just show you how to use 18. So you just click download, let the installer do its stuff. Okay, so the download is ready, and if Microsoft says, hey, this is sketchy, ignore it. And just do keep, and then We'll let it run. Okay, let me click again. And then again, do more info, run anyway. And then I'll ask for admin perms. Okay, so let me just close my super demo and then I'll try again. So we can just go ahead and run this installer. And again, do the admin stuff. And now we just press next a few times. So you can decide where you want to install it. Um, so yeah, you can just go ahead and install on your C drive. If you end up using BitShelter or other backups or isolator, you might need to change it. But for now, I'd say it's fine. Just use your C drive when you're first starting. And just press next, next, install. And then it'll download the latest version for you. And it uh, looks like it'll take a while, so I'll pause again. All right, so it looks like the uh, installer worked. So I can just do finish. And when I do that, it'll open SuperMemo for me. So when you first start SuperMemo, every time it'll open its question of the day. So it, it can get a little annoying to, to close it every time you open SuperMemo. Uh, and I already know most of this stuff anyway, so I'll just close it. But you can keep it if you want. Um, so if you want to unlock SuperMemo and you already have the unlock code after you've bought it, you can just click here. Click on password and then put in the password and just unlock it. Pretty simple. Uh, but uh, let's say that you want to start trying out SuperMemo. What do you do? Well, the first thing I recommend universally that uh, anyone wanting to try SuperMemo proper does is uh, file level professional. And it might look scary, but um, from here you have a, a few options. So I'll just, I'll just write them out here itself, actually. Yeah, let me just zoom a little. So option one, if you want to try a simple basic level, uh, what I recommend trying is uh, basically every day add five cards of the coolest things you've learned. And if you're going to do that, then it's good enough to just stick with file level and then beginner. And then after you've done this from, maybe you've gotten more use of SuperMemo, it'll be easier to move on to two and uh, three. But this is this is what I, I think most people are capable of doing and should definitely try. Uh, if you're gonna do that, then you can just click learn in this default collection that SuperMemo comes with and then go through the uh, tutorial. Now, option two that you can try is um, the IR manual. And I'll cover that in my next vid. So basically, for those that don't know the incremental reading manual, let me just pull it up. So the uh, IR manual is this super long thing right here, which might seem sort of insane to go through because it's just so much stuff. Now, the first thing I want to preface it with is that it might seem like it's boring since it's a manual, but I personally quite, quite enjoyed it and I have a lot of good memories going through it. Um, the, the second thing is that a lot of it isn't actually necessary in the beginning. Like, even long-term, there's, like, a bunch of stuff that you just don't need to use. So, for example, um, there's, like, a bunch of stuff on... Whoops. Control-F. Incremental email. 
for example. And ah, oh, that's why it's not pulling it up. And um, most people can just like completely skip this stuff. And there's like a lot of other features that are sort of like this, which when you need them, you might want to, to learn how to use them. But up front, there's not much point uh, memorizing it. So this is another option. You can import this and then incrementally go through this and delete the stuff that you don't really need. I'm also working on making a curated version and the curated version should be much easier to just go through since it won't have um, all the things that aren't super relevant to beginners that you might only want to bother with long term. Now that's the, the second option. Now the third option is one-on-one uh, -on -one teaching. So as of right now, while I am making this video, I am still doing teaching. Um, and basically what that involves is in maybe, let's say one 1.5 hours or so. Usually though, it, it tends a little bit longer, though I can, I can probably compress it if you want. Uh, I can teach you enough that you can just start on, on SuperMemo. I can teach you enough to, to be able to do actual incremental reading. Um, and for, for those that haven't learned SuperMemo, uh, 1.5 hours is, 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 is pretty reasonable. Uh, for me, it took me like, five months to start incremental reading because I, I couldn't even figure out like how to learn it. It took me a while to just find this IR manual. Um, but even after I found the IR manual and I was trying to learn it myself, there's like a bunch of things that I could read and I could understand, but it took me like a long term to actually get proficient in IR. Uh, because obviously if you're learning from a manual, it doesn't talk back to you. It doesn't tell you what you're doing wrong. Um, so the one-to-one -one teaching I found is, is pretty helpful way to convey uh, how to do stuff. So I, I do intro sessions completely free. And as far as I know, I'm planning to do that long term. It might, it might change in the future, but for now, feel free to schedule a call with me and I can take you through the basics. Now, my recommendation, if you're going to do a call with me, is that you do simple mode. So you just add five cards of the coolest things you learn every day for like, say, a week. And then you schedule a call. Because uh, I found that the people I just straight up teach and I'm their sole source of like trying Super Remo, they're not so good at sticking to it long term. So if you start on your own a bit, then it's it's generally a fair bit easier. Um, but yeah, this is the very basics of uh, how to just install SuperMemo. And this is what you can do as next steps. So in, in my next video, I'm going to cover just how to set up a very basic, simple, nice layout. And uh, the one after that, I'll cover how to import the IR manual and actually start on that. Thanks for watching.